Back in Washington, politicians are looting the Treasury and bankrupting our nation. I agree wholeheartedly. And I still haven't, I'm no talking head either. Right, but so you can't get I, I your information long out long. there of what's really going on. You yeah. can't do that, Mike, in the media. The media is not going to pick this up. The media is not going to take a chance on losing their FCC license. The media is not going to take a chance on having the internal revenue come down and run, run the heads of, uh, of those operations through uh, a tax audit. Give me any attitude here. I've got a ton of complaints about you. Yeah, that's right. A lot of complaints. Like this one. City. I mean, this, this is what you're facing when you say, okay, I'm going to go out and tell what I did and what I know and, wh and, and how I've been sanctioned all these years. You know what I found out, Mike? It's impossible to do that. Back off, Jack! It's impossible if you've got the, if you've got a smoking gun document. It is impossible to get this on national TV. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? Good morning. Good morning. I would like to make a comment and congratulate Gary on his book. Well, I just feel like the CIA answers to no one. And it's about some time somebody took him to task regardless. And they have had strange bedfellows for years. Yeah, and, and that's sort of the tragedy of all this is that, and one of the points that the Esquire piece makes is um, how there is a long record of CIA involvement with, with suspected drug traffickers and drug trafficking organizations. And this is a history that's mostly unknown to the American public. What the fuck is Buttfuckers Incorporated? I just don't know how to put it to you after my own 25 years as a federal agent seeing men and women who take chances with their lives and careers to come forward, as Tosh Plumlee is, to obey the oath they took to protect you and to obey the Constitution only to be destroyed by our wonderful um, media, only to be destroyed by, uh, by our politician. We had Tyrone Powers, an ex-FBI agent on here to talk about uh, the, the, uh, the, the tests and the surveys done by the Human Behaviors Division that indicate as long as you guys are fat, happy, and making money, you just you just can rivet your butt down in front of a television or a computer, and you don't want to do a damn thing. Why do I? Why did I blow the whistle on the CIA? Why did I turn my back on the CIA? Well, it wasn't a question that I turned my back on the CIA. I think that's a very honorable thing to do. Well, well let me ask you this, uh, Tosh. You flew for some you, your position because a lot of listeners are wondering now. You know about this because you were actually flying the drug. I, right. I penetrated in as a pilot and recruited pilots to penetrate into these known. Uh, traffickers and new aviation companies that appear to be CIA phone companies. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. There's a whole book uh, written by Professor Alfred McCoy uh, called The Politics of Heroin in Southeast Asia, which the CIA actually went to court and tried to pre prevent from being printed back in the 70s. Um, about the CIA's involvement with Laotian uh, drug traffickers. And, and here was, you know, th this story I think showed um, what happens when you get in bed with those kind of people. Uh, the, the results are, are sometimes unintended. And, and I think in this case, this was a case, you know, this, this stuff happens so often, this guy has a word for it, it's called blowback. It's what happens when you do something overseas that comes back and blows up in the face of the American public. And in the case of the Contra War, uh, you had a situation where we got in bed with drug traffickers. There was a story, which I frankly never thought I would see on the front page of the New York Times, I don't know if it was July 17th, in which the Times reported that the CIA now admits that they had relationships with about two dozen drug traffickers during the Contra War and continued the relationships even after being told that there was, there was evidence these men were trafficking drugs. Continue to look at Operation Fast and Furious, the fact that it ties directly uh, to the White House, uh, shipping guns all over Latin America, not just Mexico, as a pretext to, to knock out their competition in the drug trade and also blame the Second Amendment for violence in Mexico. Fuck this place! Isn't that your fucking This shit's got to go.